the RDX Apex. I did a review, a full review of the Velcro version before. Today is the turn of the lace version. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel I'm Simon, former amateur boxer, current amateur boxing coach and here on fit to box channel I feature all things boxing equipment. Today is the turn of the RDX Apex. This is a top end glove from RDX and I have also done a review of the Velcro version. This is of course the lace version. Today I will obviously produce the fit to box ratings card at the end and you'll be able to see on my fit to box channel.com website where this glove ranks against its peers so let's have a look at this glove as you can see you've got this in the red the white logo at the back obviously there's logos at the back saying apex and as i bring this round you can see you've got that sort of quarter panel on the left hand side uh, which is in red and the rest of the face in black and then I'll go through all the different sort of signage that they do RDX on the side and uh, this is an artificial leather it's RDX super skin which is artificial but I have to say a very high-end artificial leather okay it feels almost like real leather and when I've been using it it is super durable as well so I really do like this material that they've used it doesn't feel like it's going to fall to bits it certainly doesn't feel like it's a cheap material either so let's just go around then so as always with RDX you've got a logo on the front you've got a logo on the thumb you've got one at the rear wrist you've also then got Apex there pro training on one of the bumps there on here as well on the front you've got RDX official licensed product and R&D in the UK and USA which is there okay and then the other thing that is on there is A-4 training and Lumex 1 padding 16 ounce so the 16 ounce is on the cuff there i'd like to see that higher up the glove because once you've taped off the wrist for sparring that means that that 16 ounce would be covered okay so as i've said before with these i did an unboxing i've also done the velcro version as well and both of those gloves come with a bag okay like a rubbery bag which is great for transporting to and from the gym. I wouldn't leave these gloves in this bag because they will probably sort of start to smell because that is going to retain all of the sweat and things. So make sure that if you use that bag, it is just for transportation to the gym and back. And of course, they also do with this the big box as well. Okay, so again, great for storage. I'm not sure many people are going to turn up to the gym carrying that that box i suppose you could but uh i don't think many people will so let's just have a, a the price of these 170 pounds and 99 pence okay so that is slightly more expensive than the velcro version the velcro version was 155 pounds and 99 pence I don't know why that these gloves are higher in price to the Velcro. Uh, many brands, if they bring out a lace and a Velcro, they have the same price. And I think RDX should do that as well. But I do think that this is a good looking glove. But at £170, obviously that is top end when it comes to cost for RDX. A lot of RDX's gloves are sort of... 30 40 50 60 pounds and that's kind of where they've got like their dominance also their kids gloves are very good as well this is sort of a venture into playing with the big boys in that bracket between 101 to 200 pounds which of course is the fit to box middleweight price division Okay, so I see these as a good-looking glove. I do like what they've done. Uh, it's almost like there's a, 
although there's a lot of badges on here, there's less badges than there was on the Velcro. If you, if you remember when you took the Velcro, there was loads and loads of different badges on the inside of the Velcro as well as the outside of the glove. This one is a little bit more calmed down, but as I've said before, RDX do love not only the logos, I've also cut out the labels because the still they've got the masses of labels there and also the paper labels as well they were chucked in the bin um i didn't hang on to them for very long the knuckle if i show you the knuckle so the lumex 2 tm padding evolution sheet max shock equilibrium foam g foam and a highly compressed polygon fusion mold okay that's what the description says that's what it says is in there. I'm surprised they're able to fit all that in. All of those names for the technology have got trademark next to them. The guy that works or the, or the lady that works in the trademark office of RDX must have a full-time job just trademarking every name that they put to whatever. Again, I'd like to know a bit more about what is that technology, not just the fancy trademark names, what is it? Show us like um, a, a, a sort of a cross section of these gloves so we can see what's in there. Because without that, we've got a load of fancy names. And I can tell you, it's a, it's a good punch surface. Okay, I can sum it up like that. Um, it, it's, uh, I'd say, medium to soft as well. It's, it's not a hard surface. Uh, at first, it is stiffer, as I've said. So on the thumb, you've got RDX. Then you've got the... Um, you've got the thumb attachment there which is in black and uh, that will be again that rdx super skin the artificial leather for all intents and purposes it's very very much like uh, leather it does feel like leather that is a really straight thumb um holds your your thumb in almost like that position it is that straight but you do get a sleek glove from that now on there as well i mean there is there is on there there is three small holes on the inside of that on the previous version because those holes are so small i didn't even spot them um on the velcro so I, I have sort of noticed that they are they're really small don't know how much air holes that big are really doing for ventilation especially in a synthetic glove so rdx make your holes bigger okay so when we come to the wrist you've got the lace i think the lace could be longer You've got the three lumps there for the protection, and that does give you a secure wrist. Could be better if there was a longer lace. And then the face of the glove, as you use them, they do open up more, as I've said. Again, six air holes on there that could, again, be bigger. Uh, has got a grip bar. It's not like a massive grip bar. It's not a small grip bar. It's just, it's just there, to be fair, um, as I put them on. Um, you can form a good fist and you, you are gripping onto that grip bar which which if you've got your hand wraps on where it's all sort of there and a clear palm again that adds to that gripping of something that's inside the glove and give you a good fist so as I bring that round as well the stitching I'll just show you the stitching uh, stitching this is a well-made glove I think for one thing's for certain, RDX are very consistent when it comes to sort of their manufacture and their stitching. This is, as I say, well made. I can't fault it for the construction. Inside you have got, let's have a look, let's show you the inside there. And in there they call that the dazzle fabric. Basically it's soft and it's spongy when you're sort of sweating them it does get a bit damp so make sure that you air out these gloves otherwise next time you put them on they'll still be damp from the time before and then let me just show you again there show you the profile there's the punch surface and from that angle there as well
Okay, so let's have a look at the weight. 16.9 for the left glove, 16.9 ounces for the right glove. So both of these gloves weigh exactly the same. Uh, for a 16 ounce glove, which is lace, uh, that's a little heavy, so would come in my sort of amber on the fit to box uh, code of where of, of sort of my tolerances of where a 16 ounce glove is acceptable. Of course, I've done many gloves in the last few weeks, which have been way over that. So I don't think that 16.9 for both of these gloves is a problem at all. When it comes to comfort, let's try the gloves on. Uh, when you first get them, they are a little stiff, okay? So when you first get them, it is harder to open up. I've used these quite a bit, and as you can see, I can open them up now. Um, still, there is gloves out there that are softer than that. Um, but again, there's a big difference between day one and sort of now, after a good few rounds, I can open, although there is effort involved in that. The other thing I would say is the thumb is very straight. So it almost feels like your, your thumb is like that, really pressed in there. Not uncomfortable. The finger pad there feels fine. No pain at the rear of the front knuckles or the fingernails. My thumb is, is at the end, but it's not uncomfortable, although it is very sort of straight in that position. A little tight here, but again, not, not that uncomfortable. And I do like the wrist. I do think that these laces could be longer, so you can really fully maximise that wrist. I think they're a little short. You, you find yourself really trying to grasp onto what is not much lace left once it's gone across the ridges, where I think they could really extend that support by having longer laces. Let's put the other one on, and both gloves feel the same. Um, so again, when I've got them on, no levels of discomfort. The thumbs, as you can see, are lovely and nicely tucked in, so it's not like there's any problem when it comes to sparring. These are decent on the bag. I actually preferred these on the bag to sparring because of obviously that little bit more effort that it takes to catch the, the shots. Uh, they do take some breaking in. They are a little stiff to open at first, but as I've said, that does get better. So these gloves are going to go into the fit to box lace division, middleweight division, which is 101 English pounds to 200 English pounds or 121 US dollars to 250 US dollars. So let's get the card up on the screen. And so the card is style 94, comfort 95, durability 94, sparring 94, bag 95, value for money 94 because of that 170 pounds 99 uh, price tag so value for money I have marked that down one point from the value for money that I did for the velcro version of this glove so these gloves come out at 94.3 that is one fit to box star you know how difficult it is for brands to get a fit to box star if you look at my price divisions on my website fit to box channel.com you will see how many brands and how many gloves do not get a fit to box star. There is a tremendous amount of gloves in the good section and good doesn't qualify for one fit to box star. One fit to box star is very good. Now with this glove, I have put it as a point lower than the Velcro. And the reason for that is that difference in price point, £170.99 for this glove, as opposed to the Velcro, which is £155.99. So I don't understand why there is a difference there. I also think that these would probably be better if they were around the 130 mark, I have to say. 120, 130, I think would suit these gloves better than you know 170 pound you're right up there with sort of your addy speeds you're right up there with your fly um, and even some mexican gloves are around that um sort of price point so for these to get an advantage on those gloves i think that i would have to bring the price down a little so as i say they have attained a fit to box star very good gloves 
If you like the look of them, I'll include the link in the description as always. As you know, no brands pay me, but on the channel I show you all around the gloves and if you like what you see, then obviously the channel is here to help you pick the best equipment for you. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.